So guys, we have another Borderlands 3 hotfix incoming. It will land at 3 p.m. today, PDT. I'm not sure what time that is UK, but it's sometime later today. Today, we're going to go through every change, including changes to Vault Hunters, uh, changes to weapons and so much more so let's go guys how's it going my name is dp channel like you thank you for stopping by and checking out the video if you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more borderlands 3 also guys every week i'm giving away copies of borderlands to women for yourself or a friend simply make sure you are subbed to this channel and have notifications turned on drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below Okay, so the change is coming and today we go through them all and we're going to start with Vault Hunter adjustments and we have Amara. We addressed the concern that Alacrity was only rewarding players one point worth of bonuses even if the player put in more than one point. In addition, we wanted phase graph to be more accessible to all weapon types and play styles. So we doubled the range to grasp an enemy. Putting points into Alacrity now rewards a reload speed bonus per perk. Phase grass can now be used on targets further away and the cooldown is now instantly returned if the player misses. Pretty cool. Moving on to moles. The blood letter class mod was creating some overwhelming synergies for moles so we increased the delay and decreased the recharge rate of the shield to compensate. This should help encourage the intended use of the class mod which is to heal shields manually, not automatically. Means of Destruction's retrigger delay was adjusted again because the change limited other builds beyond creating infinite grenades. The infinite grenade bug will be addressed in a future patch, but we wanted to enable other builds that use Means of Destruction. So we dramatically reduced the retrigger delay to a reasonable number. Blood Letter Class Mod Increase the recharge delay by 150%, reduce the recharge rate by 50%. Addressed a reported bug with close the distance so the action skill augment will now deal the intended shock damage. Means of destruction now has a re-trigger delay of 0.3 seconds. Okay, so flak. The leave no trace change last week to flak was to forcefully inject the functionality of a cooldown into the ability. However, the value that was added was never the intended value. We dramatically lowered it to retain the promise of the ability, but with a cooldown that still allows players to gain ammo without dramatically removing a core aspect of a weapon's gameplay loop. Leave no trace now has a retrigger delay set to 0.3 seconds. Okay, so we're moving on to Zayn, and there's not much here about Zayn, people. Wow. Death Follows Close will correctly update several kill skills after unlocking this ability, which is kind of big to be honest because it was reported that this wasn't working properly, and Death Follows Close, as we all know, is a major perk when you have it selected for many, many builds. And it not activating or correctly using kill skills can be a big deal, so I'm glad to fix that. Moving on to weapon hotfixes, the lob's projectile tick damage is now 60% of base damage up from 20 and projectile speed decelerates faster to increase chances of hitting the same target multiple times. Creeping death damage increased by 200%, carrier damage increased by 60%, gunner rank damage increased by 20%, all sniper rifle zoom levels have been slightly reduced, long scopes on Jacobs, children of the vault and door assault rifles have been slightly reduced. Anointed parts. When Zane swaps positions with his Digiclone, the damage gained is increased to 130, up from 75%. Wow, people, I have some weapons which are just crazy as they are. Up from 75 to 130. Wow. When Flak hits a target with Rax, the target now takes 100% increased damage, up from 50. The anointed part, increased damage versus badasses, no longer heals the player and now correctly adds bonus damage to badass enemies. Okay. Bug fixes. Pain, Terror and the Agonizer 9000 have been adjusted to have an increased chance to drop higher quality loot. Back time. Addressed a reported bug with Dynasty Diner that could potentially help mission progress for some players. Addressed a reported concern that some players fell through the floors in various boss arenas. And modified enemy spawn level deplacencies reported in the later parts of the campaign. We noticed that some enemies were spawning at lower levels than expected in the later parts of the campaign. Players should no longer see enemies that are dramatically lower levels than other nearby enemies in certain areas. And that is that guys, that is a hotfix that will come later today, 3pm PDT, which is probably around 4 or 5pm UK time I believe. I'm not certain that those don't quote me, but it will be later today people. And yes, yeah, some great changes in my opinion, one important change to Zayn, crazy changes to anointed weapons and so much more. And guys, that is it for another uh, hotfix update. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I really do. 
If you did leave a like, it really helps out. And guys, hopefully I will see you on that next one.